Welcome to Lesson Picks, and thank you for taking the time to watch our Getting Started video. In this, we'll show you how to make great materials with the resources we provide. When you first log into Lesson Picks, you'll end up on your dashboard. You can also get back to your dashboard by clicking your Lesson Picks, or also clicking on your name in the upper right hand corner. Your dashboard has a number of things you can do right off the bat. The first is you can change your personal information, and you can change your password. Another is you can manage your collections and your materials, and that's what we're going to go through in this video. When you first sign up, you'll have a number of sample collections and sample materials that you can use to play with it, the interface and make sure you understand how things move around. But In this video, we're going to go ahead and start from scratch and create a new collection and a new material. In this case, we're going to go ahead and assume you're going to work on a new unit having to do with a trip to the zoo or a field trip. So the first thing we need to do is we need to find some pictures that we want to put into our materials. So we'll go ahead and do a search for something like a giraffe. When you do a search you'll see that you can search by keyword which I just did up here. There's other ways to search as well such as rhyming with or sounds like or starts or ends with. And on any of the more complicated searches you'll find another video that will walk you through how it works. But in our case, we found a giraffe that we want to use. When you click on it, you'll go to the image page. There's a lot of things you can do here. A couple of important ones are, you can download this as a PDF or an SVG, or even as a JPEG or a PNG, so that you can use it in your own materials, your Word documents, or things like that. And you are licensed to use it in any educational materials you wish, as long as you don't just resell our images. You can also create quick materials, and we'll come back to this, but right now let's focus on building a collection of zoo animals. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add this picture to a new collection. You'll see that right here you can see your other collections, but if you click create new collection and hit this button, it will build you a new collection with one image in it. We'll go ahead and change this name to zoo animals. Hit update collection. You can add a description if you want, that's mainly just for your own benefit. Once an image is in your collection, you can do a number of things with it. You can actually change the title. Like if you wanted to make this a tall giraffe, you can customize it, and that only changes it within your collection. It doesn't change the image for everybody else who uses the system. In this case, we're going to change it back. Another thing to notice on the image page here is that all of the categories that this image is in are listed up here at the top. And so you can see that there actually is already a zoo category. So we'll go ahead and go there and there's a number of other pictures we might want to use. In this case, I'm going to choose a number of these, about eight more. Uh, I'm going to choose a bear and a cheetah and uh, an eagle, an elephant, a uh, gorilla, um, about a lion, a monkey, uh, let's see how many we have. Whenever you've got these selected, you can add them to your collection. Again, you'll see that Zoo Animals is now in your drop-down box. Now you see that here we have eight. We'll need one more to do this correctly. So we'll go ahead and search for um, about a flamingo. There's our flamingo. And anytime you're in a search screen, you'll always have the checkbox and the Add to Collection button. At this point, we have nine images in our zoo animals collection. So we're going to go ahead and take a look back at our dashboard. Here you'll see your dashboard has your zoo animals in your collections, and you can go back to this page from there. Once you're using a collection, you can create materials. This big button on the right is how you do that. When you click on Create Materials, it'll walk you through the, image, the materials creation wizard they'll ask you a number of questions. First question is what do you want to create? You can create bingo games, game boards, pattern strips, uh, pecs if you're working with an autistic classroom. In our case we're going to go ahead and create bingo games. Second question here is what images do you want to use? We want to use all of the images in our, coll in our collection so they're already selected. You can do select all or none or if you didn't want the eagle you could do that. Here we'll hit next, and now it asks us some details about the bingo cards. So 
First question is what layout do you want? You can do three by three, four by four, five by five. We're gonna do three by three. And then how many unique cards do you wanna create? So what this will do is randomize all the pictures into your bingo cards. In our case, we're gonna create four. If you do create a very large number of different cards, it will take a long time and it will create a big PDF file. So you might wanna start with a number under 10 just to get started. Last question here is, whether or not to include a hat pull sheet. Well, hat pull sheets are a piece of paper that's got all of your pictures that you can cut up and put into a hat so that you can draw them out for bingo. So we'll go ahead and hit finish and you'll see a little waiting uh, dialog here and it will then pop up when it's done. So that material has been created. You'll see this warning. This is an internet only, uh, internet explorer only issue, but it's minor. You can say download the file or you can just click here as download as PDF. This file will now download and open. And here you see the PDF file. I'll resize so you can see this better. You'll see that this PDF file has been created and it's got four pages. Each one has a different layout of bingo cards. And then the last page has your draw sheet to cut them out and use them. Now, you'll see that when you're done, you can hit the My Lesson Picks dashboard. And now you'll still have your Zoo Animals collection, but you'll also have a Zoo Animals bingo material. This will be here for as long as you want to keep it here. You don't have to store that, that file. If you ever want to download it from home, um, you can access it. We'll keep a, a copy of it. You can also delete it if they're in the way or if there's too many on this page. Uh, but there's no limit to how many materials you can create. So I hope this has been helpful and shows you how to create your collections and your materials. And if you do have questions, you can first go up here and follow the help link. And secondly, our new forums have a technical support, how to use lesson picks, and a special forum just for parents and homeschooling. Thank you and good luck using lesson picks.